Hello, I've been interested in the Ableton Push for a while. This is not the sort of instrument I would play because I normally play keyboards and things like that. But I've been looking at these and thinking, wow, they, they look really interesting. When I eventually got some money together and went to the shop to buy the Ableton Push, the guy in the shop said, go away, come back next month because Ableton Push 2 is coming along instead. So a few more pounds in the kitty, I waited and waited, and I'm glad I did wait because this is, it's almost like a different beast. Now, this is only a MIDI controller. This produces no sounds or anything. Uh, it's the software that does that. Now, I found myself in a very short period of time looking at this screen here, which is almost like high definition television. I was working with this screen, not with the computer screen. And it's actually quite easy to use and very interactive. Anyway, there's lots of great videos out there of people telling you about this, uh, people doing tutorials and showing you how to use this. And uh, they've been a great help to me because I'm useless at reading instruction manuals, even though the instruction manual for this is a digital sort of download. You know, it comes with the Ableton Live software, but I'm too lazy to do things like that. But watching the YouTube videos of the guys demonstrating this, I've, I've learned from them. Thank you very much. Thumbs up to you. Now, uh, I'm just going to open this up because this feels like beautiful quality. And uh, I just want to see if the quality is skin deep or if it goes all the way. That's just an excuse for me to take something apart. Fortunately, Ableton has put posi drive screws on the back. So uh, let's get this apart, shall we? Now, one of the tricks that manufacturers tend to do is they'll hide a screw underneath the sticky label. So if you peel this up, there may be another screw underneath there. So there's the center screw just there. Obviously the next thing is where are the other screws hidden? Well, if I was designing this, I would put them underneath these rubber feet. These are stick on rubber feet. The chances are there's a screw under each of these as well. There you go. And there we go. Very, very pretty. And uh, that is beautiful. All the signatures inside this machine. That is wonderful. Put that to one side. And here is the inside of the Ableton Push 2. Hmm. Well, it certainly looks nice quality. Now, before I go fiddling about touching the circuit board and thing and things, I should really put on my anti-static shield just in case. What I really need to look at is are all the buttons going to go falling all over the place when I unscrew this? Probably. As you can see, all the buttons are starting to fall through. So these are going to go all over the place. There you go, there's the top plate. Yeah, it's it's almost machined. It's, well, it is, it's all machined out of aluminium. Very nice. Put that there. And there's your ice cube tray. <laughs> that is actually quite a, it's, that's quite weighty that is, it's quite heavy. So there's a nice close-up of all the internals of the Ableton Push 2. And there's no huge processors on there at all. There's a lot of these little 8-bit shift registers 
all over the place for controlling switches and LEDs and whatnot. But uh, that's all this thing has to do. It just has to transfer information in to light up LEDs and to uh, show you information on this beautiful display here and take the information of you pressing the button or turning the potentiometers back to the computer. So you don't need huge processors and things in here. Now the push buttons here, they're all sealed units. Each of these buttons is a sealed separate little switch and quite nice too, they're proper metal switches. Uh, this section here, which is your pad area, if I can just lift this sheet slightly, I don't want to get one speck of dust under here if I can help it, but as you see underneath here, there are traces in the circuit board and uh, that runs under each of the pads. And then on the opposite side of this sheet, this is carbon. Now, when you press down lightly on here, it'll conduct between those uh, tracks there, but the resistance will be higher than if you push down really hard. Because if you push down really hard, a lot of that carbon uh, connects between these tracks and therefore the resistance is lowered. So the machine knows that you have pressed it down hard or pressed it down lightly. Now I'm going to put that back because like I say, if you get one speck of dust underneath there, then you start coming into problems, changing values and things, and suddenly, before you know it, one pad will only play softly. Uh, that sort of problem has come up in the past with some equipment that I've repaired, where I've just had to lift the sheet up and clean underneath them and put them back down again, because they haven't been as responsive as they were when they were new. I'm not absolutely sure how these touch sensitive faders work. I can't get this off the board, but uh, very nice. There you go. That's the inside of the Ableton Touch 2. And I've got to say, from what I can see, this is absolute quality all the way through. There's no penny pinching gone off anywhere on this board. Everything is good quality. Thank you very much Ableton. Very nice. So I'm going to put this all back together again and if I'm lucky it will work. Right well here goes. Put it back together time. Now I've got to make sure all these pads actually line up and they've got some tiny little holes here so that you can get a couple of little screwdrivers and make sure that pad underneath is perfectly lined up with that uh, plastic strip because if that's a little bit off then I guess it could affect it in a way and certainly don't want that, not at this stage anyway because that means I'd have to take it all apart again and try again. So, here goes. I'll put it all back together, I think. There's no screws left over. It's all lit up and it's displaying what it's supposed to display. So, you know, I hope I haven't harmed it anywhere because I spent a lot of money buying this. Now, this is quite an expensive piece of gear, but judging by the quality of it and inside the quality uh, is everywhere. The little push uh, switches underneath, the surface mount switches and everything, they're metal capped ones, they're not plastic ones or anything. 
Uh, and just about everything about it is, well, they've proven they haven't been penny pinching anywhere. So, yeah, expensive piece of equipment, but you get what you pay for. And it's, it's nice through and through. Anyway, enough about that. I'm not advertising Ableton here. Uh, I have to buy all my own gear, which is why I've started this little Patreon course thing to try and get, uh, you know, the odd dollar in or something towards my next project because this is starting to work out expensive doing these videos. Anyway, that's my sob story over with. I hope you uh, found something interesting in there and uh, please give us a thumbs up and uh, thank you very much for watching. All the best.